Super no, 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 no. It was it was a concert. It wasn't like a man. Shit. What was the concert? At? This is at uh, Underground uh, okay, okay. Music Factory. Okay. But like, I had shot so much that day. Yeah. The like my my memory card got full like halfway in in the performance. Yeah. And I did. Damn. I don't even remember if I backed it up. I don't think I did. I just went ahead and just format card keep shooting yeah i was like oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> lost content bro yeah man so another lesson yeah. keep extra memory cards on you always always Jonathan cooper my man coop yeah man welcome to the black backdrop bro yeah appreciate you coming out uh allow me to feature you on this segment dog means a lot um, definitely photographer I looked up to coming up in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. um, knowing that you specialize in food photography now, it's been a pleasure just seeing the work, seeing the growth, etc. So, yeah. um, you're originally from Charlotte? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and what do you do? Uh, you know, most of my work is, is food and beverage related. Mm -hmm. uh, with the marketing background that I have, you know, working for uh, agencies, you know, being ingrained in the uh, the food and beverage industry, like as a server, you know, working in fine dining and mm. all that stuff. Like, you know, I think that was like the the platform or the origins for me to like develop my craft. Mm. So you were once a server, you said. Yeah, in server. Fine dining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was it about the fine dining experience that you saw and felt that was different from other? dining experiences well i think it was just mainly their their approach mm -hmm. you know um it was there was always you know just certain ways that they that they did things mm -hmm. um you know i was pretty impressed with that mm -hmm. but i also learned you know there's food is just a wide spectrum right mm -hmm. and it's one of the few things that really bring people together mm -hmm. from all different cultures mm -hmm. but at the same time we also need to be more mindful that other cultures outside of ours have different ways of doing their own thing so mm -hmm. okay so when did you pick up the camera mm. damn i think i picked it up in i want to say 07 okay yeah 07 okay. i picked up uh like a little little point and shoot it was something real cheap mm -hmm. you know and um, always, you know, it was always just a hobby. I never really took it serious until, you know, I went on a uh, trip to Europe. And, you know, I didn't know when I would be blessed to go back there. So I was like, you know what, shit, I'm going to shoot whatever. Mm -hmm. Anything that's beautiful to me, I'm going to capture that. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's just keep it for safekeeping. You know, it's, it's nothing that I wanted to get out, but... You know, I figured, shit, nah, I want you to see what I saw. Yeah. And then that's how, you know, I started getting good feedback. And yeah. from there, I just stuck with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, photography is something that you do. It's not necessarily all of who you are. Nah, hell no, nah. You can't box me in shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nah. What else you like to do outside of photography? Mmm. -hmm. Honestly, taking care of myself. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't do that often. Mm -hmm. You know, it's I also think that in some weird way, it's viewed actually is somewhat frowned upon. But people don't really talk about that. It's like, damn, you know, why you want to take baths all the time, or why yeah. you want to, yeah. you know, <laughs> shit, what, what you doing wearing church socks and sneakers and or like. I don't know, it, it's, people aren't used to taking care of themselves. Mm. So any chance I get, if I can, you know, I pour back into myself because mm. I've spent way too much time pouring into others mm -hmm. and it hasn't been reciprocated. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. I don't like how that feels because I'm, I'm left, uh, you know, feeling depleted, mm -hmm. you know, just pouring into these multiple cups and then I go home empty handed. Mm. You know, so this is basically, you know, just taking your own power back. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Give me an example of you're saying you pouring into others. 
What does that look like? So born into others, you know, and I think this is just something that I inherited. Like, mm-hmm. you know, the older I get, the more I try to like, figure my own shit out. Mm-hmm. I, I, I really want to go to therapy, but the way my brain operates, like I already know the origins of most of my shit, mm-hmm. you know, but I also think that it is healthy to have that outlet, mm-hmm. uh, you know, professional help. Mm-hmm. Um, and also like go on these rants. So it's gotta cool. reel me back in. It's cool. But um you said give you an example give of me an example of pouring into someone. Um, damn. There's a lot. You know, there are I think my nature is just a help. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, always being the first to show up mm-hmm. if I can, or being being the go to. Mm-hmm. Uh you know, I, I noticed that a lot of times people actually do that for, for like self gratification or I don't know. Some people have their ulterior, ulterior like ulterior motive. Like mm-hmm. I just want to see you shine. So if I have tools, if I have the the capacity, mm-hmm. like shit, here, take it. Like yeah. I don't even fucking want the credit. Mm-hmm. Like just go on by your business. Keep going. Mm. Keep pushing. Now, that didn't fully answer the question, though. Okay. Because you did say, give you an example of pouring into cups. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing that I have noticed is that people don't really appreciate it. Mm. You know, I don't really look for a thank you, but fucking acknowledge like where where that shit came from. Mm. You know, it's like. Um, Shit, I don't know. Let's use Drake as an example. Like, mm-hmm. he's he doesn't write all his shit. Actually, most rappers don't use write all that shit, mm-hmm. you know. And they never really fully credit the the person that wrote the material for them to get on. Mm. So, hmm, that seems to be something of a I won't say cultural thing, but. Um, Something that is very prominent in the arts industry, entertainment industry, things of that nature, right? Mm -hmm. Now that's vast when I talk about the industry, Mm -hmm. particularly being in Charlotte, um, only only because that's just where we are now, number one, and also just where we happen to come from so we can see the differences, the changes, etc. What do you feel that acknowledgement would either do or already have done for those who have done the work and put in the work so uh so damn Mm. i'm starting to like so i might i'm going to contradict myself what i just said right Mm -hmm. so in hindsight it's best to give without thinking about it right Mm -hmm. like you do shit out of you Basically, what I'm saying is we should operate out of love and that's it. Nothing else. Like, I love you. I want to see you shine. So here, like, take it. Mm. I don't really care too much about the credit because the way universal law works, I'm always going to be blessed. Mm. You know, my blessing is, you know, my blessing comes from servicing others, serving, servicing myself. And you know that's that's that. Mm-hmm. Um, and sometimes it is it does get exhausting, but like like I said, man, shit, God ain't failed me yet. Mm. Mm. So in a way, being a creative, being a photographer, being just naturally in who you are and rooted in how you are, even. What opportunities has that brought you that mm. you feel not being that person who's ready for certain things because, you know, you're not giving back to yourself, you're not confident in photography, all those things that you're confident in that you feel as if you have, um, let's just say, grown in mm-hmm. and not being ready. What type of, like, what has, how has that been advantageous for you? I'll ask that way. Uh, through through my craft, 
or through the craft outside of and and honestly in general because I mean your yeah. person is what really fuels you into in into and through your craft. You know what I mean? So yeah, absolutely. They're all relative. You know, we always hear people say, uh, you know, enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. You know. Mm -hmm. Trust the process. It, yeah, trust the process. Yeah. Like that's that shit is real. Like mm -hmm. along the way, I have met some some of the most beautiful people that I have ever known. Like, and some of them are actually like lifelong friends. Mm -hmm. um, they have became extended family members, and you know, it's it's one of those things. Um, Dom Kennedy said it best. He said, "Take what you need and leave the rest." Mm -hmm. Um, you know, like along the way, I have been, and I think it also comes from like you know just just be good to people, man. Mm -hmm. Like you're always gonna be rewarded. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You might not see it. You might not be. I don't know. It's weird. Like it, it shows up in mysterious ways. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, I've it's it's led me to dig deeper into myself, mm -hmm. figure my own shit out. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Even though that's like that's never gonna happen because once you think you got it figured out, yeah. shit changes. Right, you know that's <laughs> it's a part of evolution. Absolutely, huh? absolutely constant change. Yeah.